So this is a very interesting question with related to uh, our principal, principal component analysis, especially the constraint optimization formulation of PCA and how we solved it. It's a very good question. I think this is an important question that we missed in the original video. So we're trying to make a follow up video because one of the students asked this brilliant question. So the question goes as follows. Let me explain the question in, in brief. So this is the optimization problem. This is a constraint optimization problem of PCA that we have seen, right? And here X is the covariance matrix of your data matrix S. All this is explained in lot of detail in the constraint optimization section of solving optimization problems chapter of the course, right? So we reformulated this problem using the Lagrangian uh, multipliers like this. And we said that when we take the derivative of L with respect to U and equate it to zero, what we get is this. And from this equation, we said any u and lambda that, that have this property where su equals to lambda u, right? Any u and lambda that have this property are nothing but, uh, so any, any u and lambda that satisfy this property are nothing but the eigenvalues of s and the eigenvectors of s, right? So u's are your eigenvectors to be precise, lambdas are your eigenvalues of s. So given a matrix s, right you will have multiple you will have multiple eigenvalues and multiple corresponding eigenvectors now the question here is because at the end the, the, when we are solving this problem at the end we said the lambda and mu that correspond to the solution to this right the u that maximizes this so we we, we said it very quickly without giving detailed explanation we said the u that maximizes this u transpose su is the corresponds to the maximal lambda because remember lambdas are your eigenvalues so imagine if lambda 1 is greater than or equal to lambda 2 is greater than or equal to lambda 3 is greater than or equal to lambda 4 so on and so forth right and corresponding to lambda 1 is your u1 u2 u3 and u4 so on and so forth we quickly said that since this is the largest or maximal since this is the largest eigenvalue right and this is the eigenvector, this is the eigenvector corresponding to the largest eigenvalue. The solution to this optimization problem is nothing but u1. But we did not prove it rigorously. Right? That's the question. The question here is, while well, you have shown all of this, you have not proved clearly that the solution to this optimization problem is the eigenvector corresponding to the maximal or largest eigenvalue. Very good question. So let's let's go through this. So what is the optimization problem that we are solving? Let's just rewrite it. We are trying to find a u that maximizes u transpose su such that u transpose u equals to 1. So if I take any of these eigenvectors, if I take any of these eigenvectors, any of these ui's, any ui for any of these eigenvectors, they satisfy the property that ui transpose ui equals to 1. They satisfy this. So any of these, any of these ui's could be the solution to this problem. So if I'm trying to find arg max u, right? Let's assume this is my u star. I'm trying to find the u that maximizes this, right? See, it's the same problem. It's the same optimization problem here, right? Here, all I'm asking is what is the optimal u, my u star, right? I've just changed the max to arg max so that what I want is actually u star. So any of these eigenvectors will satisfy this constraint. So this constraint is not a problem. Now the question here is amongst all of these ui's, which of them will maximize my u transpose su? So let's just simply rewrite u transpose su quickly. So what is u transpose su? We know, we know because, because of this, because of this, because u and lambda are eigenvalues and eigenvectors of s, we know that su, so we know, so right, we know, okay, let me write this down. So we know that su equals to, right, we know that su equals to lambda u. Right? Then, what does this become? If this is the case, u transpose su is nothing but u transpose lambda u. Here, remember, lambda is a scalar, u is a vector, u is a vector. So this, so this is same as this, and this is same as lambda times u transpose u. Because this is a scalar, I can take it out. Right? So, in a nutshell, what do I have? And I know that u transpose u equals to 1. So this is same as lambda into 1, which is equal to lambda. So this whole problem, this whole problem is nothing but 
find me find me the u that maximizes u tra remember you, what is u transpose su u transpose su is equal to u transpose lambda u right i've taken the lambda out because it's a scalar which is nothing but it's equal to lambda so, so directly by just doing the simple algebra we want to find a u that maximizes its corresponding eigenvalue right and what is this this is nothing but your u1 this is nothing but your u1 because we know that lambda 1 is the largest or the maximal eigenvalue right this is simple this is like literally a two step proof the reason i think i missed in the original content is because this is so obvious but it's a good question and uh, it's, it's it's a very good question actually so in a nutshell by just following these simple steps we have proved that the cut the solution to this optimization problem the arg max to this problem u star is equal to u1 which is which corresponds to the lambda 1 which is the largest or the maximal eigenvalue of s right just simply two steps two step proof but it's a very good question i appreciate the student who has asked this question because he has thought through the steps which many many of us have missed including myself so I appreciate the careful detail with which the student has gone step by step.